Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, my beginner's guide to Florida. This is episode 4 and as I said last week uh, we're going to go through tickets. Uh, so we'll go through briefly on um, when or where to buy them, um, what is available um, in terms of the best type of tickets uh, to get um, and what extra tickets um, are the best thing to buy uh, before you actually go out there. So, um, the question to ask um, on some of these forums that I see is um, do you buy out there or do you buy before you go? Um, we have bought some tickets out there previously, um, but that is mainly like extras, uh, which I'll go through at the end of the video. Uh, but we tend to find that you get a better deal if you buy before you go, um, especially for Brits because you can buy them in um, like two week packages. Um, so you do get a better deal and you get a lot of extras with that um, if you do buy before you go. Also you have that peace of mind um, that you are getting the tickets um, because there's a lot of stores out there that, that don't look genuine um, and you can pretty much buy tickets anywhere you go now um, from um, supermarkets to little stores around the malls and things so um, there's always different places you can buy tickets. Um, but tips for this, if you always buy before you go, um, your tickets are there ready for when you um, leave to go to Florida, which obviously saves you time at the gate. Because uh, if you do um, buy on the gate, then there's normally huge lines if you're buying them directly from the theme parks. And also if you are buying from sellers, um, when you're over there, you don't know if you're gonna get the best price. And there's always that doubt in your mind, are, are these tickets genuine? Um, and a lot of the parks, um, they do offer, um, as I say, discounts on the prices if you pre-book them. Uh, and you also get um, special offers with different parks included. Uh, like for example, at the moment, um, Legoland is being offered as a freebie and Kennedy Space Station uh, Space Centre is being offered as a freebie on some of the parks at the moment. Uh, so it's always worth keeping an eye for that. But again, we'll go through that in more detail. Uh, so where, do you, where can you buy your tickets from? So there's obviously loads of different outlets. Anybody who uh, books their holidays through um, travel agents will know that you can, they'll try and sell you the tickets as an add-on there. Um, they will not, they do not tend to give you the best deal. Um, they will go with the rate um, that Disney and Universal, for example, are charging at that point in time. Um, and if you are going to, for the next year, so if you're booking this year in 2018 for 2019, they estimate the prices. Uh, so you might not be getting the best deal at the time. So in my opinion is don't book with travel agents when you do book your holiday, um, but they do tend to price match. So uh, for example, we booked with Virgin this year um, and they told us if we book it with them, they will price match any ticket websites that we get and it will be a guaranteed price. Um, so it is worth finding that out if you do decide to book through your travel agent if you want it all under one roof. Um, one thing with the travel agents, uh, for Thompson for example, make sure you check with those because if you do book your tickets uh, directly through them, um, you have to go to the welcome meetings in the morning uh, to collect your tickets. Um, I don't know whether it's a thing that makes you just go to the welcome meetings, uh, but do check that beforehand to see where your tickets will go and I believe you don't get your tickets beforehand as well so you still have to go to the gate uh, when you get to the theme parks to exchange a voucher uh, for your tickets so again check those um, before you do buy them. Also with Thompson um, I do believe that um, you can't link your passes to your Disney app because it's a voucher number not actually the ticket number. Uh, my friends did book through there a couple of years ago uh, and they had a bit of a game trying to get the reference number for the tickets uh, so they could link up their um, tickets to the, the Disney app for example. Uh, so again check that um, before you do buy from travel agents. So there are lots of websites that you uh, can buy your tickets from uh, rather than the uh, travel agents. 
Um, don't be put off by the, the way they look. Some of them do look a bit amateurish, um, but they're the ones that you just can't get the best deals from. Uh, for example, uh, Orlando Attraction Tickets is where we got our tickets um, through uh, the last couple of years. Um, and they are, we find they are the cheapest ones. You don't get any extras with those. Um, it is basically your tickets. You get your memory maker included with the um, Disney tickets themselves. Um, but you don't tend to get anything else uh, with that. But again, um, the extra tickets that you do get, you need to factor in whether you're going to be able to use them or not, which basically gave us the decision to go with them. So that's Orlando Attraction Tickets. I'll put all the uh, websites in the information below uh, so you can have a look at those. Um, one of the most popular ones that you'll find is floridaticks.com. Uh, These ones, this site itself, and uh, americanattractions.co.uk. Uh, these two sites are, tend to be the most expensive, but only by about a couple of hundred pounds. Yeah, that is quite a lot. Uh, but you do find you get a lot of freebies with those. Uh, American Attractions this year, they were offering Kennedy Space Center and a free um, autograph book, a Disney autograph book for the kids included in that, um, along with the memory maker. Florida Ticks, um, I think that was a NASCAR experience this year, um, but they do tend to change every year. Uh, so just have a look of, and I think you get with Florida Ticks as well, you do get a $20 um, Disney voucher with that as well per, per person that you book for. Um, but you just need to weigh it up in terms of that $200 that you're paying extra, £200 sorry, that you're paying extra, will that offset to could I potentially buy that when I'm over there anyway for, for the cheaper price. So do have a look at that. Um, the other one, sorry I'm just looking at the website here because I can't remember all the names. The other one is attraction-tickets-direct.co.uk. Um, they're all about the same sort of earmark uh, in terms of price. As I say, they usually get different deals with each one of the websites. The cheapest one is orlandoattractiontickets.co.uk. That's all one word. Um, it's green and white at the site, um, and it's very basic in terms of how it looks. But again, don't get put off by that uh, when you go on there. Um, I'll go through in a minute the different types of tickets that these websites offer, but those are the different websites um, that you have around. Um, in terms of prices, um, if you're booking to go the following year, the best time to get these tickets is December, January time, um, the year before, um, because they do a buy early, so you get the ticket prices for the 2000, uh, so if you're buying for this year, you really got the prices for the 2017. Um, we've found since we've started going back um, in 2015, um, the tickets have gone up about £200 every year. Uh, there were £1,300 for the two of us when we went. Uh, yes, we've got an additional now, but um, it's gone up to about nearly £1,900 now um, since uh, that, that's just in a couple of years. Um, it's usually around the end of January, beginning of February, uh, that Disney and Universal put up their prices because that's when the annual passes start getting renewed and that. Uh, so January, uh, beginning of January, end of December time is the best time I find to start looking for your tickets for the following year. Um, best thing to do as well is check all those websites and shop around. Um, I just do a Google search for Florida attraction tickets. You get a load of sites that come up and those are the top sites that I've found um, where I'll do put the same obviously combo deal in that you're looking for uh, and just price match around them. If you have booked through travel agents, as I said, uh, Virgin do price match. Uh, whether Thompson or Thomas Cook or any other travel agent do, you know, you'd have to ask. Um, but as I say, you'll still be getting the tickets type. So if they sell a certain type of ticket and you're you've got on the website for something else, they won't price match that. It has to be like for like. Um, so the one, for example, if they've got prices for 2019, but you go on to Florida Ticks and they haven't got the 2019 prices out yet, 
they don't care how cheap it is, it has to be like for like. So do, do check that as well before you um, start asking to price much. Um, another tip as well is, like I say, when you are shopping for tickets, don't try and buy more than you can use. So for example, if you go for two weeks and you're buying your Disney, uh, your two, two week Disney and your two week Universal, uh, you've got a stack load of parks in there. Uh, so if you start adding on SeaWorld and Busch Gardens, which comes out as a um, Orlando Flexi ticket, um, you'll have Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Volcano Bay, SeaWorld, Aquatica, uh, Busch Gardens, all included in that. So you need to see if you're going to use that. That's just six parks, that are separate, six parks there in that one ticket on top of your Disney as well. Uh, and if you're going for these add-ons where they're throwing Kennedy Space Station, Space Center in there as well, you need to look at, yes, I am getting extras of this, but am I going to actually use them all? So do bear that in mind when you are looking for your tickets. I would always have a fair idea before you look at them, being a planner of um, what days you want to do, because you might need to take a couple of rest days um, in between. So don't try and cram too much in because it just won't become enjoyable. Um, Another thing that we found as well, um, we've always bought our card, we've always got the money in the bank, but we've always bought them on a credit card, just in case something does go wrong, because uh, you do get that extra security if you uh, do buy them on a credit card. Okay, so um, there's different types of tickets you can get on each of the sites. Uh, so first of all, we'll look at Orlando attraction tickets. Um, you can buy the individual tickets, so you can like buy Disney World packages, um, you can buy Universal packages, SeaWorld, Discovery Cove, Legoland, and other tickets like Fun Spots and uh, Wonderwork, etc. Um, I think the best deals you get are through the bundle tickets. Um, so you can buy, the one that we always buy is the Disney Universal Switch ticket. This basically gives you 14 days uh, for your Disney and 14 days for your Universal and that starts the first day you use that ticket so if you get to Florida um, obviously you land you settle the next day you go to Universal it starts ticket counting down then you've got 14 days then to use that ticket and the same if you was for um, Walt Disney World um, as well um, the other switch tickets that you can have you can include you can add SeaWorld into there um, or you can just add Legoland or Universal and SeaWorld or you can do um, the whole lot which is called a Passport Plus, Orlando Passport Plus that includes um, Walt Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld, Kennedy and Legoland um, so that's um, a decent ticket as well you do have the big one which is called um, the Orlando Passport um, that does include absolutely everything um, so you get Disney World, um, Universal, which is a volcano bay, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, Aquatica, um, and that's basically all your tickets there. So I would pick that is if I was going for three weeks, um, mainly because um, you can spread it out so you can do your Disney first and then you can drop your Universal in there. Um, but if I was going for two weeks, I wouldn't tend to do that. I would Disney and Universal is is usually enough for that. And then, like we've done before, we've just bought a day ticket for SeaWorld uh, before we've gone. Um, so that's the site that we use, Orlando Tickets, AttractionTickets.com. Basically, all the same. All the different combo tickets. Uh, they're just phrased a little bit differently. Um, on the, the each different websites um, but they all pretty much do the same thing um, most of them at the moment and we think this is a cracking deal um, if you buy them before you go you get your memory maker included um, with your Disney tickets um, this includes um, all your uh, ride photography uh, so you download it onto your magic band or onto your um, ticket you just tap it when you come out Great the rides um, and you get them ready for it's usually an hour after actually I think it's quicker than that about 20 minutes after uh, you come off the ride it's, it's there and ready all the photo spots that they have um, 
around the park with the photographers, that's all included as well. Um, and you get to keep them. There is a time limit of when they run out, um, they do have an expiry limit, but when you get home, you can just download all them onto your hard drive uh, and then you've got them all for free. So I think that's a, a brilliant deal for them. So that is well worth it. Um, some of the tickets as well, uh, for example, um, if you buy uh, Discovery, Cult, Discovery Cove tickets, um, you get SeaWorld as free. Um, so check that as well. Um, if you're buying a Discovery Cove and you're looking to add SeaWorld on as well, it's, in, it's normally included in the ticket. Uh, Discovery Cove is a great day out for the older generation. Uh, so you kids who can swim and we've got this big freshwater lagoon um, with obviously uh, fish in there uh, with rays and all types of tropical fish uh, there's a shark tank in the middle as well so it looks like you're swimming with the sharks but they are behind under the glass and you can pay extra to have um, a dolphin swim on top of there as well um, I think you have to be 14 I think um, that's just off at the top of my head to swim with the dolphins, so again check that before you book it. Um, but I think it's not really for little kids. You, can, you do spend the day there, um, you get all your food included in the, the ticket as well that you, you, you pay for the food and the drink. Um, you can upgrade to different packages, so you can have like cabanas if you want to upgrade and things like that. Uh, but it's totally worth money. If you've never done anything like that before, definitely do that because it's, it's, it's a great day out relaxing and you can say you spend all day there um, I think we when we went we got there really early uh, did the dolphin swim just relaxed had a bit of a swim and stuff uh, and then around three four o'clock we left and then we went to SeaWorld um, this is because it was free I spent the rest of the day um, in SeaWorld uh, so it's totally worth that um, if you want to drive out a little bit further uh, you've got your Kennedy uh, space Centre, um, which is a great day out um, if you're a space fan. They've got like uh, simulators there. Um, you get to drive um, the tracks of where the actual shuttles are taken out. You get to see the assembly building as well, as, and you go in a coach, and there's lots of fun facts. Uh, you can have dinner with an astronaut. Um, there's loads of different things that you can do. That is really well worth the drive out there. Uh, we've done that a couple of times, I've been doing it for a few years and there's a lot that's changed since then so that is definitely well worth it as well. And your latest park that's opened, again aimed for the, the younger kids, uh, is Legoland. Uh, a bit like the one in, in uh, Windsor except it's um, obviously <laughs> in Florida so um, the, the village parts themselves, the model village bits is more themed around America than it is like in the UK which is themed around London and different landmarks around the UK that's a lot of landmarks um, around obviously America plus uh, they've got the Star Wars stuff there as well that you, you have in, um, in Windsor and obviously your big Star Wars Lego well your Lego shop and stuff like that but that is aimed towards the younger kids but again that's a bit of a drive out uh, but also worth it uh, so finally we'll talk about the extras uh, depending on the time of year you go, uh, we've always gone um, September, October time, because that's our favourite time of year. It's not too hot, you still get the great weather, uh, but you get your mixture of your, your Halloween stuff. Uh, so if you do go around that time, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal is an absolute must. If you're a horror fan, you have to go there. There's loads of different packages you can buy for that. They usually come out around May, June time. Um, I've been there four times and I've done the RIP twice and I can't recommend that enough. The RIP, if you want to do, if you're only going to go once, do the RIP because you get through all the houses, you get to go on two or three of the rides because uh, you get Express Pass Plus and there's a little buffet thing at uh, the beginning with a bit of, uh, bit of food um, and you get a guide that takes you through the houses. You don't have to queue for any of the houses, you go through um, the, the back door sort of way and you get straight onto the through all the houses um, they changed it a little bit this year last year sorry um, whereas they took you through all the houses once uh, and then on a couple of rides they wish you through all the houses this year 
and you get to go back through the houses that you, you carry on using uh, fast passes. Uh, so we did all of them and then we did um, a couple of the houses again once the tour had finished and uh, I think we did the Mummy and Rip Bright Rocket as well. So it's totally worth it if you do that. If you're going to go two or three times there's different passes you can um, buy um, which basically includes uh, your entry into the, the, the actual event itself um, but you'd have to buy express passes on top so it can get quite expensive so your universal ticket itself um, obviously gets you into the park so if you want to go to Horror Night it's an additional ticket um, on top of that then if you want to do ROP it's an additional ticket so you'd still need to buy your Horror Nights ticket for that night but you'd buy a standard one and then your ROP is an additional upgrade so bear that in mind if you do buy that uh, so it does run you about two, three hundred dollars um, but as I say it's totally worth it um, and you get to see all the houses and you get VIP well it's gone now but you do get VIP access to the building test shows up um, if you want to drive a bit further out around the same theme you've got Howler Scream which is at Bush Gardens uh, they don't have as many houses but they are supposed to be a lot better I've never done that but I know uh, a few people that have been um, I follow the channel uh, View from the Cheap Seats I've met up with Kyle a few times when we've been over there and he says that uh, the last couple of years that has been better um, if you lived closer to Bush Gardens he would probably go there more regularly than um, the Horror Nights itself um, so those are your Horror Nights um, if you go in then, uh, actually you've got Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party as well, I cannot forget that. Uh, that's obviously at Magic Kingdom. This starts in August, it's absolutely crazy. It starts in August and runs all the way through to the end of October. Um, again, it's an additional ticket on top of that. Um, but you go trick-or-treating around the park and you get absolute bucket loads of candy. Uh, you can have two or three bags each if you want, they will throw stuff in there. Um, so I do make the most of that if you go staying with the Magic Kingdom but going on so as soon as um, Mickey's Not So Scary finishes within a day it's transformed to Christmas and then Mickey's Christmas party starts so usually the start of November all the way through Christmas um, which is why we're going in November this uh, next year uh, because we want to do the Christmas part we've never done it before so we're so looking forward to that um, but again, that's an additional ticket uh, to look out for. Um, other different seasonal things you have, uh, you've got Mardi Gras at Universal. Um, that's around uh, the January, February, end of January, February time. Um, you have the Harry Potter, um, like a bit like a Comic Con sort of thing, but they have it at Universal, it's like Harry Potter weekend. Uh, that gets mega busy if you ever do that. Um, so keep a look out for that. That's usually January time. And I think they do another one later on in the year to coincide with Christmas. You know, so keep an eye out for that as well. Other things you could do uh, is like dinner shows. Um, so you've got your sleuths. We've done that before. That was really funny. It was like a murder mystery show, like a comedy murder mystery. Um, that was really good. Uh, we've done. Um, Medieval Times, we've been to that one as well. Back in the day when Gladiators was a thing, there was a Gladiators one that we went to. Um, that was fun. So they are quite good, a bit cheesy, but they are good fun if you've never done anything like that before. Uh, again, you can pretty much get those when you're over there, because you do get discount books. And that usually in your hotel room, or if you go to the mall, they'll give you discount books there. And there's usually coupons in there that you can find, uh, which is worth that. Uh, another good one, which we've never done, uh, is Blue Man Group. Everyone keeps raving about it, but we've never actually done it. Uh, so we might try that one of the years. Um, that's at Universal's on Universal property. Uh, just on the back entrance between Hard Rock and the side entrance to Universal Studios. It's just down there. Um, and then some of the other things you can do are uh, the Everglades, um, if you want to trip out. Um, I think if you're going to do an airboat, the Everglades is, is probably the best way. That was the best airboat tour we've done, and we've done a few of them. We saw all kinds of animals there, um, raccoons, turtles, um, all different sized alligators as well, and that, that's the one thing that you do go an airboat for, to see stuff like that. 
um, we've done a couple that are in actually the Orlando area itself and we didn't really uh, see anything for those. Um, and one of the best tours that you can go on the Everglades is Captain Duck's. Um, that's the one we went on. And it's a really good tour um, and it's really good fun. Um, so that's about it I think for the tickets that I can think of. Um, if you do have any questions as I say, stick them down below and I'll answer them in the comments. Um, and I think I might do a Q&A around this as well. Um, I'll stick some questions for people to ask me on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, again the link's down um, in the bio somewhere if you want to follow me on that. Um, and then again I'll do another video if need to be. About this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this is enough information for you. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and as I say, do comment on below and like the video if you like it. And we'll see you next week uh, with another video. Um, not sure what it's going to be yet, um, but I hope you enjoyed it.